Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this week's edition of the Blockchain Developer Weekly Digest and this is an edition from ETH Cape Town and uh, this time around uh, we have um, news from Truffle as usual uh, and pretty much every uh, development framework has a new version that's there but we can label this week the, the week of the bug fixes. Uh, in addition we have news from uh, Nodesmith, uh, we have a new um, Plasma framework that you can use in order to create your own uh, Plasma networks. Uh, as usual, I'm your host George and without any further ado, let's get started and let's start with my uh, MVPs uh, for this series, Truffle, and they have a new version which is 5.0.13. It is a majorly uh, bug fixing uh, release, however there is also an enhancement of the Truffle decoder which led to a breaking change. Uh, with Truffle Decoder you can now decode internal functions uh, and uh, a Solidity contract type uh, variables, uh, which is very cool at least for the, for the debugger. Also there are improvements in the Truffle Artifactor mm -hmm. and for the Truffle Hardware Wallet Provider. Uh, and uh, moving away from Truffle, there is actually a new version of Ganache 2.0.1. Uh, again, this is like a civilization, um, civilization release. Uh, in terms of new enhancements that you can see in uh, Ganache version 2.0.1, uh, there is the ability now to set the gas price to zero, which now kind of behaves closely to, to Quorum if you want it to behave this way. And uh, you can have uh, the new uh, estimate gas that is much more accurate uh, based on what we are uh, on what you are testing here uh, and moving away from truffle and truffle suit there is actually a new version of it alive 1.1.1 uh, and uh, inside you can find uh, augmentations of the triple, uh, of the Italime test and Italime coverage commands where you can set the default timeout from the CLI and there are different bug fixes uh, for, the, uh, for the IDE. And uh, moving from, from Italime uh, we have Embark with uh, 4.1.0 uh, where again it is majorly bug fixings and UI improvements. Uh, and um, there is one uh, notable uh, enhancement in uh, Embark and this is the uh, inclusion of uh, before deploy um, hook so that you can add stuff uh, before deploy like uh, getting uh, downloading them from uh, github etc uh, etc et and uh, Nodesmith, a company that we have talked previously about, that is uh, doing uh, uh, pretty much its competitor to, to Infura, supplying um, nodes as a service, now has a new uh, WebSocket uh, WebSockets API. So now you can pretty much uh, connect to, the, to an Ethereum node provided by Nodesmith and be very, very fast, uh, fastly receiving the, uh, the news um, from, from Nodesmith uh, and also there is a filter API that allows you to do the same things just with uh, polling not with uh, WebSockets so great news from uh, from Nodesmith. Uh, last but not least for this session we have a new Plasma framework. Uh, this new Plasma framework is called Plasma Chamber. Uh, it is based on Plasma cash flow and with Plasma, um, Plasma Chamber uh, you'll be able to uh, deploy your Plasma contracts, uh, spawn your operators and pretty much build your own Plasma network that you can start building your dApps around. Um, it has a very interesting uh, architecture. You can read more about it uh, in the resources. And uh, with this, we pretty much conclude this uh, series, uh, this, this um, instance of uh, the Blockchain Developer uh, Weekly from Cape Town. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so that you are the first ones to know whenever there is a new video. And as usual, just keep building. See ya.